In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have multiple colors and styles inside one image. This is a map of the town of Adlington. It is designed for uh, a tabletop game. You can see the grid around the sides. And the text is, Adlington is a small hamlet just beginning to come into its own, established 15 years ago. While there are a couple shops, no more than five if you consider a stable a shop, the majority of the buildings are small houses. The biggest and most important buildings, that being the mayor's house and singular guard tower, sit near the center of town. Some say it's because the mayor's family founded the town, but others say the mayor just wanted to feel safe, since he is a coward. Wild animals and the occasional marauders have picked at the edges of the town in the past, so the locals have started constructing a fence-like wall that should wrap around the town by winter. On the east and west most sides of the town, laid out to meet those brave enough to travel, the only roads that lead their way are two inns. One owned by a younger brother slighted by his parents, and the other owned by the elder who received nearly all the money upon their parents' death, and the men have not said more than five words to each other in years. Thus the elder has turned the family business into a well-built place, while the younger's is sad and small. So here's our map. And you may recall the mayor's house has a tower. And if I click, you get a view like this. And the mayor's house has an orange tint to it when I hover with a white outline. And over here, we have a very nice inn in, like the elder brother made. And you can see that when I hover, it's kind of, kind of a gray color like the roof rather than the orange, like the mayor's house. So I'm going to go through some of the town and show you how you can make different colored hovers just like this. I've started an image, an item for our village. It's called Adlington Map. And it's under all images under draw attention. And the first thing we're going to do is get our image. It's right here in my media library. And you can see it here. Uh, we'll see a bigger one in just a moment. And one of the first things we're going to do is choose our colors. Now, in the image, which actually we can see right here now, you'll note that the roofs are mostly either a bluish or kind of orange color. So we're going to choose those two colors. And the way we're going to select them uh, I'm going to use a browser tool. You can use anything you want. Um, I have a little color selector here in my browser, which is Brave. And so pick a color from a page and uh, I'll pick that color. And we're going to use the highlight styling section here. And this is the defaults. Uh, it's white uh, for pretty much everything. So we're going to go in here. Actually, we're not going to go in there. We're just going to paste right here. There we are. And we're going to leave the border at white. And the hover color can also stay white. We might change it, but we'll see. And now we're going to choose the second color, which is going to be a blue. And probably, well, it's kind of a gray color. But that's okay. Um, but here's where we choose to use more than one color. Right at the bottom of this highlight styling box is a checkbox that says use multiple highlight colors on this image. So we'll click that and this new styles section opens. So we open that up and we can give this style any color we want or any name we want. So I'm going to say blue roofs and then we can paste in a color right here and you'll see it is quite gray but that's okay it'll match the roof that's what really matters and you can see at the bottom there's add another style we could make many different colors if we wanted we could make a whole bunch of them but for this video we're just going to make these two um and so before i lose all this i'm going to hit update real quick just as a, a way to save it and now let's highlight some areas. So you remember from our story that the biggest building with the tower is the mayor's house, which is right here. 
So you can get as precise as you want with this. You could theoretically just grab the square and do this sort of thing. And that works fine. And if you're in a hurry, that's really, that's perfectly functional and fast. Um, but I'm going to get a little more particular and I'm going to use the polygon. And I'm going to start at the top of the tower and go down here, follow the roof. And I'm not going to get this little blue colored house because it's probably like the servants quarters or something. And we go around the bottom of the tower. We go up, out a little bit, and up to the top. And we'll click the first point to close the shape. Then we come down here and we give it the title. And that is the mayor's house. And I'm going to grab some description from our story. And for testing purposes, I'm going to hit update right now and build the front end page just so that we can see what it looks like. So here's a plain old page that I made. It's just a WordPress page. And so I'm going to put in a slash and choose draw attention. And here is our village. And I'm going to paste our story right below it. The hovers don't work in the Gutenberg editor. So I need to update this page and then open on the front end. And you can see that the tint is orange, but when we hover, it's white. And so that matches here. Our highlight is the orange, but the hover is white. So I'm actually going to take the highlight color, put it in here, and then simply make it darker. And we'll update and reload. There we are. So it doesn't turn white when you hover, it gets a little darker. And then when we click, we have it set to pop up a light box, which has the information. Now, something we could do is I'm just going to use my, my operating system and grab a little screenshot of this and in here, there's a spot for a detailed image and I can just drag that right in there. And now when we save and reload and click, we get this. Uh, now mine's a little fuzzy. I just did a screenshot, uh, but you can clean that up and make it any kind of image you want. But now we want to make one with the second color. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to add another area. Now, according to our story, one of the brothers made a very nice inn, and this looks like the nicest inn in town. So I'm going to highlight that one real quick. Now comes the part where we change the colors. Well, we'll put in here fancy inn. And under style, we choose blue roofs. And that's it. That's what did it. Let's put a little text in here. Now I'm also going to grab... Uh, detailed image of this and as with the orange color, I think I want to Yeah, the hover I don't want the white there either. So I'm going to take this Put it there But I'm going to make this a little bluer if I can So I'm going to actually choose blue and There we go Now that gray is a little dark. I might adjust that in an if it were going to production or something. As you can see now, we have this color and this color, and they're, they're orange and blue. Now I'm going to take a few minutes and do some other houses that you don't need to watch through the magic of editing, and then we'll have a village at the end. All right, now I have the mayor's house, the fancy inn, some barracks, the younger brother's inn, the officer's supply, 
and a town home. Let's see what they look like. So there's the mayor's house, which we saw, the fancy inn. Here are the barracks. Here's the officer's supply. Here's the younger brother's inn. And here's the town home. This is just an example of an average town person's home. Now, you'll note that they're all lit up right now. They're all showing that you can hover over them. It's possible to turn that off right here in the highlighting section or highlight styling section. It says always show hotspots for this image. So if I turned that off, and reload, then you can't see any. Now this could be good or bad. It, it depends on your needs. Right now, we have a bit of a puzzle for people to find all the houses. However, if you want people to just be able to walk up and immediately know which ones they can choose, then maybe you want that turned on. And so that's how we can have multiple colors, multiple highlight sections, in one image.